Hey guys, what's up? It's Samir from Lacrosse Network. I'm going to be talking to you guys about one of the most fun parts of lacrosse, shooting the ball. So just like we talked about when we're throwing, our hand placement is important when we're shooting. So we don't want to be shooting the ball with our hand up here like we're cradling. We can't get much power out of here. If we're shooting like this, the ball's really just going to droop down on the ground. It's going to be going zero miles per hour. We're not going to get it in the back of the net. So when we're shooting to get the most leverage out of the stick, we want our hands low. And we don't want them too low because if they're down here, we have no control. All right, so think about when you're passing. The same thing we told you guys about where to keep the top hand. Make sure that the butt end is in the middle of your elbow. All right. So now you can drop it just a little bit lower. That's what I like to do. All right, but it's a lot about your preference. If you like to shoot with your hand a little bit higher, that's fine. I like to shoot with it a little bit lower. So if you guys watch college lacrosse, you guys watch MCLA, anything, you're going to see guys shooting from all different angles. Sidearm, underhand. Behind the back, you're going to see all that. But I guarantee you that all those guys learned how to shoot by shooting overhand. It's the best way to learn the mechanics of shooting. All right, so the way that I learned how to shoot and the way that I like to teach shooting is with a four-letter acronym, BEEF. What does BEEF stand for? All right, we'll start with B, balance. You want to make sure you're balanced. If you're shooting off balance, you can't get any power. If you're shooting off your back foot, okay, like this on one foot, you're not going to get any sort of power. So make sure you're totally balanced that's how you generate the most power. Now the next thing, E, eyes. Take a look at the goal when you're shooting. Okay, a lot of times I see players looking down, looking somewhere else when they're shooting. Take a look at where you're shooting. You know, again, if I'm looking straight at the goalie, I'm gonna shoot straight at the goalie. We're gonna go over placement a little bit later, but just for now, when you're practicing shooting, make sure you're looking at the net when you're shooting. Now the next thing is elbows. Something that I did when I first started playing is I used to have something called T-Rex arms. When you have T-Rex arms, your hands are in tight like this and you look like a T-Rex. You can't generate very much power out of here. If I'm shooting like this, I'm really not using my arms. I'm not using my body to its fullest potential to get power. So make sure your elbows are out and extended. Something that I hear a lot of pro players say is that you want to be kissing your shoulder. Okay, if you're kissing your shoulder, now you know your, your arms are extended. Okay, now the next thing is your footwork. Footwork is really important. Just like we talked about how a pitcher throws a baseball, or a tennis player, anything like that, football player, something that they always do is they plant that foot and they open up their hips. Okay, that brings the torque. If you get that torque, you're gonna be unleashing a lot of power. So, one thing I like to do is step my back foot behind my front foot, bring this front foot up, and right as I plant, I point it at the cage where I wanna shoot, and that releases my hips and lets my body torque right at the cage. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple examples using this, uh, this B formula. So I'm balanced, okay? I got my eyes on the cage, my elbows are far and away, and I'm gonna get my footwork in, lift up, and shoot right at the cage. So right now, I'm not very concerned with placement. I just wanna know that I'm shooting and I'm following through, okay? And I'm using the, this acronym B. So I got my balance, my eyes are on the cage, my elbows are out, my footwork is in, and I'm shooting right at the cage. The last thing we're going to talk about is the follow through. When you follow through, the important thing is to, to act as if you're going to elbow someone behind you with your, with your bottom elbow. Okay, so what that looks like from this angle is that you're going to come through and it's going to look like you're elbowing someone behind you. I'm going to show you guys from this angle as well. So you're shooting, you come through, and it looks like I'm elbowing the guy behind me right up here in the chin. Imagine that when you're shooting. That's going to give you the best follow through. So we're going to finish out with these three balls with everything put together. So I'm balanced, my eyes are on the cage, I got my elbows out, got my footwork dialed, and I'm following through. Okay, one more with a better follow through. Okay, and that one's going to go straight into that corner. Here we go, last one. We're going to make sure we're doing everything we got. Balance, eyes, elbows, footwork, follow through. So now we're going to take a look at some game tape from the LXM Pro Tour. We're going to see Sean Lindsay release a textbook overhand shot. See, Sean catches the ball up in the air. He's a little off balance, but right here we can see that he gets himself balanced and his eyes are on the cage. His eyes don't leave the cage the whole time. Here you can see his elbows are far and away from his body so he can get as much power as possible. And right there you see him step in with great footwork and a nice follow through and gets it straight into the corner. The best way to become a great shooter is to watch game tape of guys like Sean Lindsay, and then to get out to the field and practice these mechanics yourself.